Good morning and welcome back. We are talking about apps. Our buddy Joe from Verizon, he's in here helping us out this morning. Joe, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, today we're talking about something a little unique. We haven't really broached this topic before. Uh, we're talking about apps for new moms and who would have guessed there are apps out there for new moms. Yep, there's tons of them out there. All right, what's the first one we're going to delve into All today? Right, so the first one we're going to talk about is Baby Connect for the iPhone and Baby Tracker for Android. So this is a very robust app that basically helps new mothers um, and parents keep track of their children and how they're growing and progressing. So okay. um, it keeps schedule of you know their feedings, nursings, um, their um, diaper changings, their everything that you could think of, and it keeps track of them for you. So you can look at different trends and what's going on with your baby. Um, it'll also have you, you can keep track of like their measurements, so their height and their head size, oh, wow, okay. and measure it up against the US percentiles. Um, oh. The great thing about this is after you capture all this data, you can put in all your notes and everything, you can ex easily export the file mm -hmm. to an Excel spreadsheet and you could send it to a nurse, a nanny, a doctor, anything like that so that they can keep up on how your baby's progressing well, as so well. instead of necessarily having to go into a doctor to have those things taken care of, you can keep track of it yourself mm -hmm. and just send it right to your doctor or nurse and then they can keep a file on it and keep updating themselves. That is very handy. Yeah. Uh, free app, paid app. Um, on Android, it's a free app. On the iPhone, it's $4.99. Oh, $4.99. That's all right. We'll let it slide. Still yeah. a pr pretty interesting uh, app. I can definitely see why new moms would need that. That's all right. right. Uh, what are we going to talk about next? Next one is Baby Phone. Um, right now, it's available for $2.99 on the iPhone, $0.99 cents on the Android. Okay. So what this is, is it's, it basically, if you have a smartphone, you might as well use it anyways for what you can. Right. Um, and this is a baby monitor app. So rather than having to go and buy the radios, you just set your cell phone there, um, and you can set it to different levels as far mm -hmm. as how loud the baby will have to be before. It will call your other phone, and you'll be able to hear your baby in the other room. So, so it would call like your house phone, or if you had another cell phone, it would connect you through those. Absolutely. Oh wow, that would be a great savings yeah. for folks, because some of those baby monitors, they can be kind of expensive. Yep, that's right here. Well, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Joe is not a new mom, by the way. No. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> next, uh, next app we're going to talk about. Next one is Baby Cam. Um, this one is currently only available for the iPhone. It's okay. 99 cents. What this is is it helps you take um, pictures of the, maybe those babies who don't want to smile as much when you put them in front of a camera. Yeah. Um, so it will actually has about 15 different unique tones that will play when you launch your camera. So it'll uh, sing like Mary Had a Little Lamb, um, different things like that. It'll play whistles, bells, things like that. Try and get them to smile. Oh, wow. That might even work for some of the adults I know <laughs> who don't necessarily enjoy smiling. And as a parent, I know that it can be somewhat difficult to get your child to smile at that perfect moment mm -hmm. for a photo. Now, you said that app is only on the iPhone, 99 cents? Yep, and then it's coming to the Android market. And it's coming to the Android market, so mm -hmm. if you stick around, it'll be available for them as well. Uh, we want to thank Joe very much. This is actually going to be Joe's last time with us. Uh, Joe, we do appreciate that, but we'll have somebody here next month to continue our app segment.